In this video, we're taking a Happy Model EP2 receiver and converting it so we can output PWM signals to standard servos. I'm doing this because in a couple other of the modifications, I've gone over this process, but I wanted a standalone video that shows the entire process start to finish, so next time I forget how to do it, I can watch this video. Let's get started. First, we need to power the EP2. It runs on 5 volts, and I'm using a servo tester that conveniently outputs 5 volts. I'll connect a standard servo plug into the positive and negative pads on the EP2. That's how we'll supply power during the flashing process. Next, open the Express LRS configurator. Select the latest firmware release, and for the device category, choose Happy Model 2.4 GHz. Then, under Device, pick Happy Model EPW5 2.4 GHz PWMRX. Make sure the flashing method is set to Wi-Fi. And then for regulatory domain, I set it to 2.4 GHz ISM standard. I'm leaving the binding phrase blank for now, and then click Build and make sure the firmware file downloads successfully. Now, we'll flash the firmware to the EP2 using the Wi-Fi mode. Power up your receiver and leave it powered for about 60 seconds. You'll see the LED switch into a rapid blinking pattern, which means it's now in Wi-Fi mode. On your laptop or phone, open up your Wi-Fi settings and look for the access point named Express LRS RX. Connect to it. The password is Express LRS. Once connected, open a browser and type 10.0.0.1 in the address bar. That'll bring up the Express LRS web UI. Click on the Update tab. Then drag and drop the firmware file you just built into the upload field, or browse to it manually if you've moved it. Click Update, and wait about a minute or two while the firmware uploads and flashes. When you see the success message, the LED should go back to a slow blinking pattern. Power cycle the EP2, unplug it and plug it back in, and wait for that rapid flashing green LED. Reconnect to the Express LRS access point, go back to 10.0.0.1, and verify that the firmware version at the top of the page matches what you just installed. Once that all looks good, head over to the Model tab. You should see all of your PWM channel outputs listed here. Double check your failsafe positions. Make sure each channel is set to the correct PWM signal for your setup. Finally, navigate to 10.0.0.1 slash hardware.html to confirm the PWM output pin assignments. You should see channels on pins 0, 1, 3, 9, and 10. And that's it! Your Happy Model EP2 is now running PWM firmware and is ready to drive servos directly. In order to actually access the PWM output signals from your EP2, you're going to have to solder these signal wires directly to your EP2. There are three pads and they're each pretty small. But channel 1 solders onto this pad, channel 2 solders onto this pad, and channel 3 solders onto this pad. And all you need to do is attach the yellow wire or the signal wire from your servo directly to this pad and then power your servo from your 5 volts, not from the same pads that you are using to power your EP2. Power your servos from some other 5 volt source. And after you do that, your EP2 should be all set up and should be looking good. To set up your transmitter, you have to go into the model, then scroll down until you find the internal or external radio frequency section. Because I've got an internal module that can handle ELRS, I turn it to crossfire, then scroll all the way back out, then go into the system, scroll down to the Express LRS tool, click on it, then I can scroll down until I find bind. Now make sure your EP2 is flashing, or double flashing green lights as you can see, and then after you click bind, it should bind right up. Then all you have to do is set the input to whatever channel you want to control your servos. In this case, I put channel 1 as the throttle, channel 2 as the aileron, and channel 3 as the elevator. It's really as easy as just setting the input to the channel, and then let the EP2 do the rest. Well, that's going to do it. Hopefully this tutorial was straightforward and easy enough. So next time I forget how to do it, I'm going to watch this. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Inverted Aviators RC. Stick around for more tutorials like this.